Hello, this is Mr. Zhang from Visa in Korea. So uh, nowadays, uh, it's getting colder, right? And also, um, like a 10 days later then, you have a very big and Korean and the Lunar New Year holidays. So Happy New Year, Happy New Year in advance. Uh, I received a lot of questions regarding F27, so I made this uh, this video for understanding better the for the F27 when you apply for the you know the change into the immigration office. So there are the mainly three very important factors you must check before applying for the F27 visa. Uh, the yesterday also I went to the immigration office to apply for the app to seven and it has it has accepted without any uh, other additional documentation required and uh, you know uh, the officers in immigration office for the app to seven is very strictly they are checking a lot of document so today uh, I'd like to introduce uh, what is the main point the for the applying for the F to seven uh, visa? Okay, the first one, uh, the visa change means. What I think about the uh, visa change, the visa change it means you have uh, the current right as I said as previous and the visa type, and new visa. Uh, the F to seven. So what is the correlation uh, from like a, for example E seven one and designated special activity visa to to change F to seven? Uh, but basically, you know the basic requirement the first one the three years and from uh, E one to E seven one and D five to D nine. But today's I'd like to focus on the E71 visa to uh, this one, right? If somebody got a like a D2 and uh, before, and uh, master degree, and if you change the one, and if you have an 80 point, you can apply for that, right? So the most important thing is the basic things, right? This is a non the master degree in Korea in this case, but if you got a master degree uh, and from the Korea. And if you got an E71, and if you meet the edit points, and you can do that. But uh, if you obtain your overseas diploma and you got an E71 right now, you need a three years, and or if your previous year's income is more than 40 million won, no need to wait. Yeah, that one is everybody know that. I just posted several times, and anyway, the three is the edit points. But today the main topic is when you try to apply for the F to seven. What is the the most important thing? So let us start. Most important checking list. Right. This is a very important thing. Okay. And the first one is the contract. The, what I think about the contract is that, for example, E seven one and your uh, the validity of your uh, the period of the stay. Stay, uh, for example, like uh, May first, two thousand twenty two. For example, if you apply for the uh, the after seven that I said that. The very important thing is, and you have to meet your is a seven one visa extension criteria. The most important thing is the contract, working contract That I explain you, your validity is until the May 1st, 2020. But most of the contract is finished like one month before your, uh, your visa expiration. So usually it's April 30th, 2022. In this case, so you must check your 
contract period first. Uh, if you your the uh, the contract remains like a three month or more, so it is no need to to uh, like extend or the making a new contract. But if your uh, the contract period is less than a three month, when you apply for the F to seven, you have to renew your working contract. But some of the customers are asking me about that and E71, if I get E71, after 7 just the 80 points, there's no problem to change it. It's not. I said already. And after 7 visa means if you want to change it, you have to meet your extension criteria first. And second one, you need to get 80 points. The most important thing is that you need to check your contract period not your period of stay on the ars backside okay very important is very important it means that i uh the immigration may check your uh, continuation of working at the company but after that if you change another company who cares if you get up to seven but the important thing uh and immigration considers that if you change up to seven and uh, you have to the work at the company the continuously and at least need a certain uh, the period of stay remains based on your working contract so you must check your working contract right the second one is and uh, the document from the overseas this is uh, one of the most important thing because you must get your academic degree And second one is uh, uh, the criminal record. A records from your. This one is the home country. But that one is, and the uh, issued company. Yeah, issued and the country. Okay, the for example. If you leave uh, your home country is in the Philippines, but if you have your academic degree from UK, your home country and your degree obtain the from the UK. In this case, where you should get apostle, apostle, apostle is from the UK, right? So you have to send your diploma and the hire some of the agency uh, to handle with your apostle in UK. This is a very important thing. But if you graduate from the one of the Korean universities and just uh, printed out in uh, one of the Korean universities uh, academic degree in Korea, is no need apostle. But, and if your uh, home country and degree of the countries are different, and when you get the academic degree with a apostle, and you have to do that. So there is a 120 apostle convention countries. Except for that, you have to do Korean embassy legalization. For example, if you're from the Philippines. Philippines is one of the uh, apostle, the countries. But if uh, you were uh, at a degree as uh, issued in Canada, like China, mainland of China, and uh, uh, for example, like uh, Nepal, right, Bangladesh or something like this, uh, that and uh, the Canada and China and Nepal also, it is not. Um, uh, that uh, these countries uh, didn't uh, join the convention of apostle. So in this case, is uh, you have to follow the Korean embassy's legalization at that uh, at the, you know you issued like a uh, academic degree issued in a country. If uh, academic 
and the issued countries is one of the Canada and China and Nepal, Bangladesh, or Sri Lanka, and other uh, East uh, Asia. Uh, it's the south. Uh, it's the south in the, the countries. You must get uh, check this one. So you may check the Google and the check the obtain your diploma and the countries it is the apostle and the country or not. You must check that. If uh, you were the, the degree issued uh, the university is uh, one of the apostle convention countries, you may get the uh, apostle. If not, and you have to ask to uh, in the Korean embassy and the legalization instead of an apostle. Okay, and the second one, the criminal record from your home country, it takes a long, takes a long time. So you must check that uh, one month to uh, three months. This is the most important thing. But criminal record in the validation is uh, three months from date of issuance of apostle or Korean embassy legalization. Okay, so only take the three months. I just complain about this. If, if someone stay, uh, stays in Korea continuously, and if uh, this criminal record with apostle or Korean embassy is legalization is issued, and while staying in Korea, please extend within six months, right? Because uh, it takes a long. So you must consider this period, right? This is period first before you try to apply for that. So my recommendation is the firstly apply for that, right? And after that, once you have it, like a maybe you know that a certain time in the period when you get this original burden. So at the times that you just reserve to the immigration office or you hire uh, the visa in Korea delegating that we can do and there is a uh, the window and we can delegate you so this is the most important thing is that you have to get this one you have to solve this one and you check the, what is the proper application time application date okay based on so somebody said that like I don't need like a theory with apostle or criminal record this is not but some of the e visa holders right if they already submitted like academic theory but you you just stay in Korea without any like a you know departure or something like that or after the, the summiting criminal record you're staying in Korea yes so already you submitted criminal record but you stay in Korea continuously like a like this with a current issue yeah no need to bring a new one but most of the other the visa type visa holders they don't need to, to give uh, some criminal record before uh, when they are applying for their E7 or E1 etc right except for the E2 uh, there is no any data for this you know submitting the criminal record before so you must check that how long it takes okay the last one this one is the most important thing do you know that uh, 2021 January 1st to 2021 December 31st, right? This is a 2021 income. But right now it was uh, 2022. And but 2021 income and uh, each February you report to your margin and, and uh, some the report for your 2021 income. Uh, the income certificate issued in May, right? This is the most important thing. It's the first one. So I think it's, if you apply for the February uh, thing or the March, there is no problem, right? It's, I think it's based on my understanding as applying, applied. 2020 income certificate but if you is April and May after that in this case right even like a April usually 
After seven, the procedure is uh, around three uh, to four weeks. It depends on the situations, but uh, so April and May, if you apply for that, you have to sometimes, and you have to wait until the 2021 income certificate issued. So, so if you want to apply for that, so that means you must check that this when you get this one right without this uh, the immigration officer they cannot accept your application this is a mandatory very important okay so calculate and before March or after April so if you do you must consider that and April or May application yes absolutely 2020 income certificate you have to submit it so if your 2021 is the income is more higher than that and it took down 2021 is a little bit less like a like a for example and 41 41 million one but that one 39 million one so this one is a totally different and and a point system so if you have a more benefit uh, and 2020 income just apply before March okay this is a very important thing so if you good at it just wait until May right if you want to use 2021 income is more uh, higher point than 2020 just wait until the May okay good okay today I explained when you apply for the F27 visa and it has included in the E7-1 visa extension extension criteria so you must check your uh, valid and your contract working contract the second one in the docs and from the overseas with apostle this is a very tax time the three one is income so immigration officers just received your income certificate issued the by the tax office this is a very important so before March if you apply for that 2020 income will be more better but after April just wait until the May and get 2021 income but I've heard that you know like got experience on that some of my clients applied for the March like a like a at the time right like a pre period two years ago it was an income certificate but immigration wait until the March uh, the uh, the May to get new income certificate okay so you must consider that this is a very important part so when you apply for the F27, uh, you have to meet uh, the visa extension criteria. Especially if you got an F27 and your spouse got F2, the 71, and you have to meet a GNI, a GNI one time and 80 point. This is the most important thing. So GNI. 2021's GNI will be more higher than 2020. So it, it is a religion in the March. This is a more more complicated thing. Even if you apply for the February. So if you have a like a less than the more uh, the 2021 and the GNI, it'll be a religion in March. But just to quickly uh, try to apply for the F27 and F17 at the same time before March. This is a very, very important. Okay, this is a visa in Korea. If you have any questions, then you may contact to uh, my email address, Jang Heng at naver.com or 02 and the 523 and then 3075. This is a visa in Korea, Mr. Jung's, and uh, the office number, okay? Or just uh, the my cell number. You already know it, right? German Jerry 6383-3078. Okay, uh, see you next time with more valuable information. This is uh, Mr. Jung's visa in Korea. See you next time. Bye-bye.